My good mama named me Catrus, and it all went downhill from there. Oh, did it ever. Hello everybody, Grace Dooblaze, and we're back with a new game for the channel called Epic Tavern. So this is a tavern management style of game. Very cool. You're going to notice artwork somewhat similar to things like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, and there have you. I love this art style. There's a couple reasons for that. If you look at the development team for this game, you may see some familiar names. This is on Kickstarter, and I've been following this for a long, long time. So besides being a tavern master and building up your epic tavern of glory, the other thing that we get to do is send adventurers to their deaths while we linger you know, in the warm glow of our safe, safe tavern. I love it. So, setting other people to do the work for us, but it is very much a tavern management style of game, or so it is build. I have not messed with it. We're going to start with a new game over here. I'm on the unstable server because there's so much cool stuff on the unstable server that I wanted to see it all. New UIs, prologues, quests, and tavern sounds, and all kinds of cool stuff. We're going to pick one of these empty slots over here. We need a tavern name. What should we name it? We're going to name it Seagull's Retreat. Sounds pretty legit. I should probably call it, like, Hurricane Destruction Alley or something. So this is the first game that I've finally gotten to play after Hurricane Irma beat the living crack out of me. You can roll a random one by selecting the die. I gotta know. The Crooked Angel. Ye old Fighting Tome. <laughs> The Cursed Mace? Okay, we're getting- There it is! The Warrior and Squid. I can't even- I don't think I can use the Seagull. We're gonna have to use this. The Warrior and Squid. That's- Everyone's gonna love this place. I know they are. Obviously, this is an early access. I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to check it out. And we'll see. Is it truly an epic tavern? Long ago, the land of Bayor was nearly annihilated by a horde of netherkin invading through the Flaming Gate. Look at the artwork. Look at the glory. Villages were trampled to dust and Bayor burned because it was very flammable. After a grueling war, the Netherkin were defeated and the Flaming Gate was sealed. Okay, pretty traditional. For 1,400 years, the seal held until the tavern opened up. Welcome to 1424 after the Netherkin explosioning. A new tavern opens its doors today. This is the story of the Warrior and Squid. Monday, week one. Oh, the tavern gained a level. We get, blah. Welcome to Epic Tavern. Expand and improve the rundown tavern your parents left you. Protect the realms of Bayor by cultivating great heroes. Well, that sounds, it's like we're planting heroes like crops and bringing them out into the world. This patron has info on a potentially lucrative quest. Click on him to find more. I can't see him because I'm still looking at how my tavern gained a level. Oh, we gained a level as in we're level one. So I don't know if we start at level zero or what. So we do, in fact, have a dude over here. Now, I kind of wonder how things work. Let's click on him and maybe the game will teach us various things. Cranston Grimm, he's a level one something. We have, can you, can you do anything else about him? 18... 14. All right, well, whatever. Click here to spend two action points to find out about the mysterious quest. It's so mysterious. How many action points do I have? Oh, I have 50. So let us spend some of them. Might as well get in a bit of target practice before heading out on the more dangerous quest. Kill the rats the old-fashioned way. With an excessive display of violence. That's how we take care of rats. Uh, oh, crap. It almost looked like there was something before something else, and I clicked on this, which got rid of something else. That's fine, though. You won't believe me, but a tree told me this rumor. All right. Now that you have a quest, click on this heroic-looking fellow and get to know him. All right. Hmm? Let's see here. We have Grunson Wolfspawn. He, too, is a level one something or other. You can tell he's level one because his horny helmet doesn't have very big horns. As you grow up in level, your horns get more and more... Potent and rigid. Rough crowd in here. Nice. Click to welcome this hero. I hope you look good. First impressions are everything. I don't even know who I am. But let us welcome him. To this to the warrior and squid. So this is the famed warrior and squid I keep hearing about. Grunson at your service. You made a new friend. Who's willing to adventure for you. Click to add him to your roster. I will add him to my roster. Oh, he's a barbarian. Okay, cool. So, ah, 
We got multicultural because obviously barbarians are their own culture. Death comes for us all. Maybe today. Once a hero, one's a hero, but two's a party. Click on this adventurer to see what she's all about. That's a woman. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, oh, this is, it must be the daughter of the other person. Remember Blaze Evershadow or whatever? We've got Murgle Flame Tongue over here. She's a level one something or other. Be sure to give me plenty of warning before last call. A hearty welcome is always the first step toward a long and prosperous friendship. Welcome to the warrior and squid, woman. Now this is a floor I could see myself passing out on. The name's Murgle. Great job. Murgle is now willing to put her neck on the line for your benefit. <laughs> Hire her and your roster will be complete for now. Excellent. Oh, she's a fire mage. If you need someone incinerated, that's kind of my specialty. That sounds fantastic. Success. You've got your first quest and a full roster. Oh, we can only have two people. Yeah, two of two. Equipment, expansions, manage tavern expansions and upgrades. So right now we just have this sad little area of the tavern. But obvi obviously we can get more cool things. So it looks like you can click on each one of these people maybe and see a little bit about them. Because you can see her fireball, burning hands, and flame shield. She's got a little bit of interrogation, trap disarming, and pyrotechnics, huh? Okay, that's cool. Well, let's just keep following the tutorial. Uh, so click here to head to the map. Those rats aren't going to kill themselves. No, they're not, quest giver. No, they're not, Captain Tutorial Atar. Let's find out what's going on in here. All right, so the target practice. All right, we've got our people over here. We're going to have them join the party. All right, and now I guess we just go forth like we did before, and that will show them kind of what. Now, can you click on these people and find out a little bit more about them, I wonder? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. So he's good with swords and axes and throwing weapons. He's, well, good. I mean, he's got a one in it. So, uh, he's got orc customs. Oh, he's an orc. Okay. And he's got beast lore, sense danger. Pretty good survivaling and mountaineering. Okay, cool. So that's Grunson Wolfspawn. Uh, back to roster. And then, like I said, I guess we can just click on her. Oh, she has a trait. It's aggressive. Oh, what was your trait? Oh. Your trait is aggressive as well. So everyone's aggressive. Whatever. That's fine. Go forth, my children. Go to the quest. So we're going to clear out some rats from the cellar. Kind of exciting to engage in something so stereotypical, Grunson says, rubbing his hands together. I feel the same way. Nope. No fast forwarding. The angry chittering. Oh, an angry chittering greets the intruders as a pack of rats rushes to attack. Rats, you don't stand a freaking chance. Roll those dice. Yes. A 20 to 10. We beat the crap out of the rats. Our heroes are able to defeat a small pack of rodents in battle. Which is literally the least that could be <laughs> expected. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, we even had the fates of the wind of fate. Thank God. We got 35 gold though, which is pretty sweet. Just as the warrior and squid comes into view, the clouds open in a full down par. The heroes sprint the last few blocks home. Woo. Time that one just right, Grunson says. Epic moment right there. That's our epic moment. So we get our little a little slap in time over here telling us how amazing we were. We got a ton of gold. We got like more gold doing this when we were saving the world. As promised, the heroes exterminated the pesky rodents, clearing the way for a new wine cellar. Oh, we're going to get a new wine cellar. Yes. Good. OK, let's go back to the tavern. I assume the quest is complete. sweet, man. There's other than I would say. Yes. Good. Rival taverns. We don't have any yet. But there's a lot of other stuff that happened. We had three patrons. Three patrons. How are we staying alive? I don't have any rooms booked at the moment. I'm guessing... Is this stuff under construction? I think a lot of this is under construction. We made a profit of 111 gold. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess owning a tavern is really, really fortuitous. Holy God. Oh, I can move all around. There we go. I couldn't really move before, but now I can. Let us zoom in to look at all these different dwarves and stuff. Okay, so there's a lot of things going on over here. Let's uh, let's click on expansions because I want to know what kind of stuff is over here. Oh, man, look at all this stuff. The infirmary, a bathhouse, a temple, KS recovery room. Okay, hookah lounge. A hookah lounge, yes. 
a cozy room where the Avengers can relax and enjoy the finest herbs and tabac from around me, or perhaps gaining a bit of insight as a side effect. When getting high is just part of being a hero, boys. We have a blacksmith, an alchemy lab, and an arcane study coming up. A wine cellar. Ooh, a kitchen. Ooh, a kitchen. Yes. Stock up on to XX type of foods. Unlock by completing the quest with a name. Are you serious? It's a quest called a quest with a name. Also, the stables, the brewery, a distillery, and a garnish garden. More decor, including some wall colors and improved uh, room decor, and then some repairs. Okay. Wow. And then we have equipment. Uh, I don't think we have anything. We have, like, a sad little sword right now, and that's pretty much it. This poor guy literally has nothing equipped. Nothing at all. So, and then expansions. We've already done that. Uh, summary, maintenance. Okay. So, it looks like that's about it for here. Whoa, what is this? Food and lodgings. Okay, so on the menu, we have 14 drinks and 15 meals. Mead. The smoked honey mead has a dry, sophisticated taste. But more importantly, it will get you wicked ripped. Yes. Rooms for rent. We got five vacant. None of them are booked. So that's unfortunate. Uh, so we can check and see if anything's occupied. It is not. Restock. I don't think that we need to restock anything because it looks like we have a ton of everything that we need. Yeah, we have 12 plates worth, 20 bowls of porridge. Okay, so everything's looking just fine. We don't need to mess with any of that. Let's get out of this and let's check out some... What is this guy over here? It's like a new patron. A bit of news for you. Catris Grumbleborn. That is a that is a powerful chin right there. Tell me more, Catris. Come back with my wine, level one. Feldspar's pop-up wine shop. Mm. The house wine is running a bit low. Feldspar Square has an infamous and remarkably cheap wine shop. Probably because no one can ever find it. The shop springs up out of nowhere every day and never in the same spot. Luckily, a patron thinks he knows where it will be. This is a man... Kind of felt like it was a woman at first, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? I could use a top up, top off, whichever. The one that fills my glass faster. Let me welcome you. My good mama named me Catris, and it all went downhill from there. Oh, did it ever. Oh, you can do like serving and stuff too. Look at this. Can I get a bowl of porridge, please? And we can serve the porridge. And I assume, like, maybe we make a little bit of money, but we have to spend some of our AP. Sure. It's really, really good. I can't believe how good this is. Okay. Well, let's go to the map, because I think that we may have a quest over here. Yeah, come back with my wine. Right over there. So, I guess let's uh, do Grun Grunson and Murgle. Oh, that reminds me. Can we... That person that just came in over there? That one... Yeah, uh, not Grunson. You're already there. Have you upgraded since the last time I was in? I don't think so. I'll offer you a drink, though. What's on the menu? We got mead, house wine, and soda water. You're going to want the mead. I'm telling you right now. You, you know you want the mead. So s select the mead. Serve selected item. Let's try that. Raise your mugs for those we lost along the way. Hurrah. I'm kind of wondering, like, what you need to do to become their friend. What does this do? It says... Increase the friendship to higher adventurers and unlock secrets. Okay. So, how about if I offer you a meal? You liked the porridge last time. So, let's try that. Getting good, getting food at a bar is always a little sketchy, but let's give this a shot. I'm going to, I'm just going to keep them drinking. Let's, let's sell them more meat. There we go. Bottoms up. And one more drink just to get that final point and just see if it does anything. There we go. Does it contain alcohol? Then my answer is yes. I will listen. Don't you worry. I'll keep an eye on the place for you. I used to be a city. Watch, you know. Oh, okay. So they're just, like, friendly now. I didn't know if they would become one of our people or not. Like, one of the individuals that we can send. Uh, so we're going to assign these two individuals over here. We've got to go forth. Come back with a wine. A bard sends the heroes off with a rousing rendition of the classic Try Not to Get Killed Today. One of my favorite songs. Look at them march forward through the town of Mil Milston. The party chats about various topics as they journey onward. Oh, that's actually funny. Like, I thought, like, something crazy would happen, and it's just, like, the party chats to one another, feeling cool. I'm getting worried that we're going to get lost in here, Grunson says. Uh, we're totally lost. 
I thought you were supposed to be navigating, Murgle complains. Now we're lost and it's all your fault. After wandering in circles for an hour, they finally find the trail and continue on, feeling like idiots. This is great. I've got two schmucks that can't find their own. Oh, here we go. The party stops in Mil Milston to pull out Grunson's map. The patron marked a few potential locations where Felspar Square might be setting up shop today. This will take advantage of my clever exploration skills, says Grunson. Yeah, your exploration skills has not come in too handy thus far. Let us roll and pray for God and country to get a good roll. And we did get a good roll. Grunson points to the mark near Gorn Flesh Cleaver's butcher shop. Sure enough, Felspar Square has magically appeared at the end of the street. They head in to pick up the wine ship. All right, man. We got the wine shipment. Come on back to the tavern, brother. Help, please, a voice cries from the underbrush. The heroes find a man pinned under a large and heavy-looking boulder. You can't go You can't go down the road in this place without finding a quest. Let us try and help. We just, we just failed. Despite their best efforts, the heroes are unable to move the boulder, and the man beneath it bleeds out. How about we don't mention this to anyone, Miracle says, as they walk away sheepishly. Oh, come on, man. My party is terrible. I like it, though. Like, I like that my party is so inept to begin with because it will make them actually becoming leet feel so much more impressive. As the warrior in Squid appears in the distance, grunts and sighs, I feel like I could sleep for a week. Marigold raises a brow. Why? It's not like you did anything out there. That's pretty legit. So epic moment was the part where we actually found the place. We did, however, get a crap ton of gold. We got an oversized gavel? As well as 25 rep. Okay, an oversized gavel. That's cool. Don't know totally what I'm going to do with it. Man, our profits keep going up, though, huh? Look at that. We've been, uh, we got, 20, got 40 gold in repairs and maintenance. And 30 gold uh, in provisions for new quests. But we, we're almost up to the next level of reputation. That's pretty sweet, right? So we got all kinds of stuff going on over here. Let's go to equipment real quick because we do have an oversized gavel. Uh, it allows people to get public speaking better, which is interesting. Does anyone actually have any public speaking? So it doesn't really... Uh, she certainly doesn't... What does this mean? I want to know. Besides just being aggressive. I'm going to give the oversized gavel to Grunson because why not? We don't have... Oh, we have a ring of persuasion. Ooh. You know what? Let's uh, let's equip this on him too. This way he gets rid. Cause now he's got all social skills. And what is this? Do we have anything else? Nothing equipped. All right. Well, I guess that's it then. So we had a couple of inventory pieces. We got a whole bunch of new things out here. Look at all these people. Let's start just clicking on people and see what happens. So I'm guessing this this Robin Hood look looking individual over here is up. Now, can you like sweep the tavern around? You can move it back, forth, left, right by left clicking and move things around. Hmm? It doesn't. Oh God! I just clicked on someone randomly. Dion Landon, he's a level two something. Have you upgraded since last? Welcome, good sir. How are you? Ooh, well, we gained a level and we got another roster slot. The income increased by 40 gold as well. The name is Dion and whatever you've heard about me, know that they started it every time. Is there anything else, good sir? Can I get a plate of stale bread, please? Yeah, that's, uh, we got stale bread for days, man. This works, thanks. Okay, that was weird. We got stale bread for days. Let's click on everyone. Screw this. This place seems a little less terrible every time I visit. We got Cranston Grimm over here. We're going to welcome him to the uh, the warrior and squid. Get a little bit of flamey awesomeness and, and freaking 4th of July fireworks going on. You can call me Cranston or anything, really. It didn't mean sound all demanding. Sorry. Would you like anything? Can I get an order of chicken wings? Yeah. Sure. Have an order of chicken wings. I like it. I'll have to see. I'll have to have a little more when I... To see what I really think, though. Oh, okay. He's just a jackass. We got Mazcorn over here. His name, last name's Rifnad. Part of the Rifnad tribe. That's awesome. I hope you haven't finished decorating this place. What does an orc care about decorations? Give me a break. Was Warrior and Squid your first choice? My parents almost named me Fergtrid, but settled on Mazorn. Okay. How about you hook me up with a glass of the house wine? Absolutely. A glass of house wine for you, good sir. Everyone's getting fed and watered today, just like the plants of the bowl. We got Phil Blair over here. Finally. A normal freaking name. This is the first patron with a name I've been able to pronounce. I haven't been in here since it reopened. 
I used to like the old place. Well, how about you like the warrior and squid, jackass? A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Phil, hunter for hire. Ooh. Would you like to be hired at some point? I would like a mug of mead. Absolutely. Mugs of mead for everyone. Feel free to make use of me if you like. I'm an adventuring kind of... Oh, in an adventuring kind of way, I mean. Absolutely. What are you? You're a hunter. Oh, we could use a hunter, I think. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to come back to you. So we've got someone else over here. This is... Hudrum Cask Chummer? Cask Chummer? Hit of berries in this new wine, eh? Oh, it's as cheap as it comes, my friend. Name's Hudrum Knight for hire. Can I trouble you for a glass of the house wine? Man, the house wine is pouring like frickin'... I almost said like wine, but that's just... That's just redundant. I like it, thanks, okay. Hmm. You haven't heard, have you? Tell me more, my good man. Across the street. A food vendor across the street has scared a rat into his cooling, into his cooking fire and roasted the poor thing alive. Perhaps out of insanity or desperation, he gave it a nibble. Turns out, the rat didn't taste half bad. Flyers circulate, claiming bring your own rat. Get the first grilled free. Ooh, we'll take that quest. And while we're questing, we have this guy over here that wants more. Oh, they want a sup soda water. All right. I like it. Thanks. There was someone else that we could hire. Let's find him over here. No, it's not Dion. Phil. It's got to be Phil. Yes, Phil the Hunter. He's level two as well, which is pretty sweet. So now we have a level two Hunter on our, on our little team over here. And I think we've got a brand new quest. To go find out about Bring Your Own Rat, which is level one. These quests are horrible. A food vendor across the street scared a rat into his cooking fire and roasted the poor thing alive. All right. So let us, uh, let us assign everyone over here. Because we can have up to four people, I think, right now. And we'll see how well all these individuals do. Now, we, we do have some extra equipment that we've equipped on our people. Phil purchases some fresh fruit from a local street vendor. Well, fresh may be overstating things a bit. Traveling onward. Moving through normalcy and daily. It's this tiny little feet in the horny hell that help please a voice cries from the underbrush. The heroes find a man. Oh no, not the boulder again. We screwed this up last time. Yes, we got it by one. The party works together to push the boulder off the man, freeing him. Thank you, brave heroes. I was a couple of hours away from hacking my arm off to get free. No, you were a couple hours away from bleeding to death because that's what happened to the last guy. Onward! Onward, brave adventurers! The old damp weather makes for a miserable travel. All right. A oh, cold damp weather. Oh, but look, everyone's pulling together, man. Thankfully, the only consequences are a few sniffles and muted spirits. And we got some gold from it somehow. Again, I don't know how. Maybe they're just picking stuff up off the ground or something? I really don't know. Quest objective. The line of hungry folk stretches nearly two blocks. A frazzled chef is roasting rodents at breakneck pace to try and keep up. A makeshift sign in front of his cart reads, Quan Dooley, modern taste expert. Let us roll the dice and pray to God that we do well. And RN Jesus turns out to be on our side once more. While in the line, Grunson strikes up a friendly conversation with an enormous orc barbarian named Grisilla Marrowsucker. They invite her to stop by the tavern sometime for a grilled rat and maybe an adventure or two. Sweet! Maybe we're going to get a fourth person now. Let us continue onward, because now we have to get back to our tavern. Things could happen along the way. Uh, a band of army deserters ambushes the party. I didn't actually expect anything to happen, but it looks like we're going to have to fight for life. And we do. The party defeats the deserters who flee into the countryside. That's what you get, you jack-offs. All right. So we made it. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the warrior in Squid, Grunson says. It's become a second home to me. Not that I have a first home, but you know what I'm saying. I do, Grunson. We had an epic moment over here when we found the, when we found the rat. That was our... This is the epic moment. That's when you know you're playing a tavern simulator. When your epic moment is just finding a new way to grill a rat. That's basically what we've done today. We got some rewards. No new equipment, though. That's too bad. So now I think we have barbecued rat on the menu. Let us check out our new day of stuff over here. We had a final profit of 248 gold, which is pretty good. About 136 RP, reputation points, I do believe. The next level is at 250. 
So like another day, and I think we're going to get our next level of reputation, which brings. So last call in 50 AP. So pretty much you want to use up, I think, all the AP that you can. Let's serve everyone. This person wants to play the chicken wings. It's catches over here. Catches absolutely chicken wings for you, my good sir. Over here, nothing really too much happening. We can click on this individual to see a brand new patron. We have Doug Orb stab first. Stab first, ask questions later. Do you have any other staff? Attractive ones? Hmm. Welcome to the, to the warrior and squid. Dirk, I'm at your service. I'm always willing to check out a new tavern. Looks nice. Oh, we're at our roster limit. Click to manage. Okay, well, the roster is full, but we can get an assassin eventually. I'm going to keep you, uh, you know, ready and waiting. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to that. That is a big, big individual right there. Let's click on this patron. Do you ever stop working? No, that's what it's like. Taz, oh my god, no. What is this name? Pale Shield. Level two something. Let us welcome them. So this is the famed warrior and squid that I keep hearing about. Taz. I'm just going to call you Taz at your service. Anything else? You'd like a plate of chicken wings? Absolutely. This is amazing. I don't know why I never tried this. I don't know either. Let us go over to our tavern briefly to see how things are going. Over in the room and board. It looks like we have a lot of porridge, stale bread, chicken wings. Oh, yeah. We got... We're, we're doing... We, we seem to be doing very well over here. Uh, we have 57 orders, 19 cups of, oh, oh, we have no, oh, we need a crate of stale bread over here. I'm going to get more stale bread and then a couple of vats of porridge. Now we have 20, uh, bowls of porridge. And then, so I'm curious now that we got the rat. Does that do anything for our menu or anything on the menu? Upgrade menu coming soon. Okay. So maybe we can't check this out. The whole, I have to show you something. Porridge, because 20 million orphans can't be wrong. Isn't that, isn't that the truth? We've got several vacant rooms over here. You guys gotta start getting rooms. I want these rooms uh, used up. All right, so let's serve the living crap out of everyone over here. Working with you has been interesting. I know a guy who used to say, never forget your kills. I can tell you that is the voice of inexperience. Quick chat, reminisce over a drink. Let's reminisce over a drink. You got a second? Absolutely. Before you get any ideas, all hits have to go through the guild. We can't have people running around committing murder all willy-nilly. All right. And then we can offer them a drink and some other stuff. Kate, uh, Catrice is still over there. Oh. This person's a doctor. I kind of want to get to know them because hiring them might be really, really good. So it looks like six of eight to hire. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let's offer a meal. What's on the menu? How about some, uh, how about some fresh brewed chicken wings? Everyone loves chicken wings, right? How about that? If this tastes half as good as it smells, we're gonna get along just fine. And how about a drink as well, good sir? Only the finest house wine. Ooh. The affinity. It's got a 14%. But let's serve the mead and see how that does. Will I get to kill something? Ooh. We can hire them. Okay. So we have a fire mage. We have a barbarian. And we potentially have a doctor. So. Frivolous and slovenly. Hmm. All right. I'm actually going to dismiss the barbarian for right now. Will no longer be available for quests. If you change your mind, speak with them. And perhaps they'll return. We're going to dismiss him. And we're going to hire... We're going to hire that doctor because I think it would be cool having a doctor on the team. So right over there, level two doctor. I can handle my help myself. So I'd be happy to go on any jobs you have. Okay, sweet. So now we have those two individuals. We do need a nice quest over here. I think I made a way for both of us to make some gold. What do you say? So it says Sagnadrub's slate fall. With the rats killed, the cobalt cleaning crew heads down to the cellar but returns moments later, slamming the door behind. A peek down the stair revealed rodents have somehow been reanimated as zombie rats. Of course they have. Let us go forth. Let us go forth and complete this quest. Now, what does this take to do, I wonder? It just takes 30 gold. So let's go back to the tavern real quick. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and just start, like, serving some food and drink and stuff like that. He really loves the house wine, it looks like. Bottoms up! 
Absolutely. Perhaps you'd like a uh, perhaps you'd like a meal as well. Seven percent. How about how about stale bread? How do you feel about stale bread? Getting food at a bar is always a little sketchy, but let's give this a try. And then I'm gonna serve you one more thing so I can learn about all your. Oh, it doesn't say anything about it, the affinity. I kind of wondered. Uh, I'm gonna serve you some chicken wings too. Smells delish. Dinner is served. We're almost at the next level for them too, which is pretty sweet. Catrus over here has more stories to tell us. Uh, and they can be, it looks like they can be recruited as well. I will give them a drink though, because why not? A little bit of house wine can't ever go wrong. Rhett 17 for them. And we've got a new quest over here. This place could use a bit of ventilation. But after a couple of drinks, I won't care. Welcome, my good man. Perhaps later you will be able to join. Uh, anything else I can do for you? Nope. Just invite them to the roster, which I don't want to do for right now. All right, boys, it's time to go into a realm of high adventure. Everyone, you're being assigned. Back for seconds. The rats need to be demolished. You boys know. You can't shake the feeling that I'm forgetting something, Murgle says. Taz rolls her eyes. Yeah, your tunic. Red eyes glow menacingly in the darkness. Taz looks a bit apprehensive as zombie rats swarm forward. We roll the dice looking for glory and greatness, and we find it. The zombie rats fare no better against the heroes than they did while they were alive. <laughs> Who would reanimate a bunch of tavern rats? Taz wonders aloud. I feel the same way. Seem kind of pointless. The road weary adventurers round a quarter and see the warrior and squid up ahead. Thank the gods, Murgle says, be warned. Anyone who gets between me and my bed is apt to get hurt. And thus we complete yet another epic quest. And by epic, I mean we killed some zombie rats, but it got us somewhere. We got a bunch of XP, we got some gold, we got more reputation, which is pretty sweet. And once again, another day in the books for the warrior and squid. You see over here, we made a profit of 100 gold, which isn't bad. We had a lot of expensive resupply of goods. Oh yeah, I had to buy more plates of food and stuff like that. That does make sense. So what are these people doing? They're kind of wandering around over here. Working with you has been interesting. Oh, it's one of our team members. Zombie rats sound much tougher, but they're not so much, it turns out. Reminisce over a drink. Let's do that. Zombie rat. Okay, very good. Oh, any vacancies? Yes. Yes. Room description is coming soon. Absolutely, though. Good. I really wanted to stay here tonight. Oh, that's cool. So now we're starting to use up our rooms. That's what I'm talking about. I was thinking about the other day. Okay. I know a guy who used to say, oh, we already did that. But uh, let's reminisce over a drink. Up for some conversation? I sure am. You'd be amazed at how many people try to hire me for off-book stuff. I can't imagine. Memories, am I right? Ah, uh, you are. In fact, one of those people is a regular here. Last one you probably suspect. Oh. All right. The tax collector has been hounding me all week. Hmm. I'll bet. So, what else do we have? Over here, Murgle. After killing those rats, I feel ready to take on the world. Or at least, increment... Incrementally larger groups of rats. Yes, let us reminisce over a drink. Up for some conversation. I'd like you to stay in the tavern like your last buddy. That would be fantastic. Despite what that nosy do-gooder catchers would have you believe, I'm perfectly respectable by my age standards. I'm sure you are. Another round, if you please. Absolutely. How about some, uh, about some mead? Everyone loves mead, right? Bottoms up. So, we've got a bunch of new patrons over here. We have Ramsey Volk. He level one something or other. Go ahead and welcome him to the group. Do you have a new men do you have a menu or something? How does all this work? Oh, I'm Ramsey. Nice to meet you. Well, yeah, it's it's a tavern. You order some things, we get you some food, maybe a beer here and there. How about you hook me up with a mug of meat? Absolutely. Mug of meat. Wow, this stuff blows me away. I'll have to order this all the time. Well, we've got plenty of casks of it. We got brace and pyrite over here. I think that that is a stone, is it not? My shoulder keeps clicking. That can't be good. Oh, bracing. I'm Brayson, and whatever stories you've heard about me, I can explain. He's a level one con artist, because con artistry needs its own level. Anything else? Stale bread? Absolutely. And they like it. Gained a little bit of uh, happiness over there, you can see. Oh, Dirk, what do you need? Oh, I was looking to get a room for the night. Yes! Right over there. Perfect. This will do. We're getting people rooms now, boys. This is what I'm talking about. Been a long week, so says Grisella Marrow Sucker. Oh, I remember Grisella. Remember we met her over in uh, in Rat Grilling Land. Oh, we get a level. We get another roster slot, and we got 40 more gold. 
That's what I'm talking about. Met some of your friends over barbecued rat. I'm in the mood to break something. Or some someone or something. How about you hook me up with a glass of house wine? You got it. Closing time. You're out of action. Reorder goods and manage lodgings or assign parties and end the day. Oh, okay. So let's, um, real quick. Oh, got another room over here. Oh, everyone wants rooms. Oh, because it's the end of the day. It's the end of the day, so everyone wants rooms over here. That's what I'm talking about. Can I? Can we get one more person in our group, though, I wonder? Oh, no, I need two more uh, AP. Let's, um... All right, let's go over here to the map. I think we can do... Oh, no available quests. There is a quest lingering out there. I don't know if it takes AP to get it. This guy over here has it. Tell me more. I smell a rat. Small farmer's market set up across the street. Perhaps someone there can shed some light on our rat reviver. Okay. Let's see if we can do that real quick, actually. Before we end the day. So... Oh, we got a level. How do you, uh... How do you level up? I have no idea. Higher. Okay. Well, let's just assign everyone for right now. There we go. We have one more slot right now, but there's nothing really we can do about that at the moment. So three people, gonna go take care. The chance of success on this quest is only 25%? Are you serious? What kind of quest is this? The party is a nine versus a quest of 10. Ah, so we're gonna want that last person for sure. Okay, let's um, let's end the day real quick. I do wanna get this quest done, even though it's not like the best way to do this. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and end the day next day. So you have to unassign people from the quests to go on to the next day. No questing today, I know. It was a sad, sad day. It was a sad state of affairs. We lost a lot of profit because we had a lot of expenses. A lot of expenses, actually. That's what happens when you don't do any adventuring, man. That's what freaking happens. Let's, um, let's go real quick over here. Smell a rat. Okay, let's, uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's hire one more person, and then we're going to do the quest. So, assassin or paladin to join the group? I think I'm going to have the assassin join. That sounds pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and do that. Move over here to the map. Let's go and assign everyone for this quest. We got a 30% now. But whatever. I think we're going to be just fine. Try not to burn the blade down while we're gone. Thurgum says they exit the tavern. Moving onward. We're going to go find out about these rats over here. We're going to take some asses out. I'm telling you what. The party meets a fellow group of adventurers who begin boasting of their accomplishment. So this is a social role. We fail horribly. The other adventurers laugh and jeer at the party's tales and boast. That's unfortunate. I kind of wish that we would have seemed a little bit more impressive. But apparently we didn't. A pain wail comes from the lake up ahead. A woman appears to be caught in a net, thrashing in the sand, attempting to break free. A gnarled fisherman is threatening her with a machete. We fail at this as well. The party charges out of the forest toward the grizzly fellow. He retreats, yelling something about a curse. Taz attempts to calm the woman down, but she is panicked and fights her. By the time she's cut free, the doctor is covered in scratches. Crap. We did get some gold pieces, though, which is kind of nice. Man, it's more harrowing just getting to this place than doing the thing. Approaching the farmer's market, Phil says we better find this necromancer soon. The rats are bad enough. They start reanimating our dead flies. We'll be in real trouble. And we failed. Zombie rats in your tavern, says Lucas the fishmonger. Sounds like the work of that psycho fortune teller. Amelia Mortalis. Be careful around her. She's a bit touched in the head. We are doing absolutely dreadful. Uh, in fact, I think we failed all the way back and forth. Durgum drops the map of the campfire, burning a few roads off. Finding their way might be a challenge now. My party is so bad. Oh, our party managed to do it. They managed to recall what they burned sections of the map were and sketch it to replacement. I'm just saying, if we can convince the monsters to come here to get killed, we can save ourselves a lot of traveling. Phil says the heroes return home to the warrior and squid. And there we go, boys. We had an epic moment, although we failed the living crap out of ourselves. We're getting somewhere, though. We made a little bit of XP. We got some rewards. We're getting there. We'll go back to the tavern. Guys, what do you think of Epic Tavern? A blend between tavern management and quest I guess, giving and selection? Feel free to let me know about it in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.